Hello, my name is Anachiku Kawaguchiku, an MSc student at Makaya University, Uganda. I'm here to present on cassava benefit disease response in Nigeria cassava collection as a part of the preventive breeding strategy for cassava benefit disease in Nigeria. Cassava benefit disease is a major threat to food security in Africa. Uh, yield losses of up to 100% have been reported in susceptible varieties. Uh, this disease is endemic to East, Central, and some parts of South Africa. This disease necrotizes roots, also causes uh, radial constrictions on the roots, also thereby reducing the marketability of these roots. It also causes chlorosis on the, on the leaves, uh, also brown streaks on the stem. The disease is currently distributed across East, uh, South and Central Africa, and uh, no reported cases have been shown for uh, West Africa, particularly Nigeria, which is the harbor of uh, cassava in Africa. However, projected uh, studies have shown that by the year 2030, this disease will get into West Africa and it will spell doom for Nigeria, particularly. So, this necessitated that. National Root Crop Research Institute Umudite should send some materials to Uganda, which is a hotspot for cassava branch disease for evaluation in, 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 in Uganda. So generally we were asking three questions. One is if our elite Nigerian cassava genotypes would perform, uh, how they would perform uh, with respect to cassava branch disease in, in, in Uganda. And also if, these, uh, the, these materials are sent to Uganda. Is it possible to improve uh, rapidly, to rapidly improve uh, cassava branching disease resistance in these uh, genotypes using genome-wide based breeding tools such as genomic selection? Also, if it is possible to predict for cassava branching disease resistance in Nigerian uh, uh, genotypes using uh, Ugandan genotypes, uh, to, to use Ugandan genotypes to predict uh, performance for Nigerian genotypes. So, National Root Crop Research Institute sent 5,000 seeds to Uganda for evaluation. Out of the 5,000, 1,980 siblings emerged, uh, comprising of uh, 106 families. And these uh, seedlings were generated through elite by elite crosses. The time frame for the uh, experiment was between 2018 to 2020. We collected data on cassava uh, mosaic disease, CBSD at three, six, and 12 months, total carotenoid content, and fresh root weight. Generally, the, the genotypes, our genotypes were very susceptible to cassava branching disease. Uh, as a matter of fact, only 297 genotypes remained after uh, CET evaluation. So these uh, materials were very reactive to cassava branching disease severity, uh, apart from a uh, cassava branching incident at six months. So when, when we compared the, these materials to the, to the checks, the resistant checks performed, uh, outperformed all the test genotypes. Even the susceptible check performed better than 68% of the test genotypes. However, we selected 15 genotypes which were, uh, were better than all, but these genotypes were uh, also outperformed by the resistant checks, as I said before. So we tried to see if we could use genomic prediction, uh, genomic selection to, to improve cassava brown sick disease resistance in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in our germplasm. So we use the, the C0C1 and C0C1 combination of the Ugandan cassava, <coughs> Ugandan uh, GS populations as uh, our training set. The variation set was 297 Nigerian genotypes that remained. Uh, for our GS models, we use the G blob, the Bayesian regression, the Bayesian lasso, and the reproducing in a Hilbert space. So we wanted to see how the models would perform uh, at cross validation within the Nigerian population and also do an across population prediction to 
see if the Ugandan population will be able to predict for uh, uh, cassava branching disease in the Nigerian population. Post validation within the Nigerian population showed modest uh, prediction accuracy. Uh, the G block and the RK uh, uh, showed uh, uh, the best performances. So this tells us that yes, we can actually use uh, dynamic prediction and dynamic selection to improve on, uh, uh, on cassava branching disease resistance in our population. So we did uh, a, a relatedness, a, a, a population structure between the Ugandan population and the Nigerian population. And as you can see, there was a slight structure. Uh, <clears throat> the eligibility estimate again shows that the Nigerian population is lacking uh, for, for, for uh, celebrancy disease resistance uh, alleles, especially the SNP based narrow sense irritability shown uh, circled here. When we ran the predictions using uh, the Ugandan population as a training set, the C1 training set performed better, especially for folia cases, for, for the folia, for CBSD folia at three and six months. So this shows us that at least we can use maybe this, the C1 training set to, to predict for folia uh, uh, disease in our population going forward. So in conclusion, we can say that our materials were very susceptible to uh, cassava brand sick disease. Uh, the modest cost validation predictions, however, shows that we can implement a genomic selection to fast track CBS resistance in our population. The C1 population uh, predicts foliar CBS well in the Nigerian population. So we really need to commence the integration of cassava brand sick disease alleles, uh, resistant alleles into the Nigerian cassava collection. Especially we could start with the 15 selected genotypes. Uh, and also we need to uh, be bring it, uh, about more collaborations between uh, NACRI and NRSI-IOMDK so that we can send more materials down to Uganda for assessment to, to keep on uh, improving and assessing for CBSD resistance in the Nigerian population. Thank you.